Welcome to the RX Master Class. Welcome everyone. In today's video, we'll be reviewing smoking cessation. We'll be reviewing all the different pharmacology options and everything you need to know about them. Now, just a quick introduction. Smoking is a major public health concern with serious health risks. Pharmacists play a crucial role in helping patients quit smoking and counseling them. Understanding smoking cessation strategies is important for the NAPLEX and as the pharmacist in general. Smoking is linked to various diseases. It increases the risk of death and decreases the quality of life. And motivation to quit is crucial for success. So you may be asked to calculate the pack per year. A pack of cigarettes has around 20 cigarettes. So what are pack per years? Uh, you would calculate the number of packs a patient smokes a day. Multiply that by the number of years the patient smoked. And that'll get you the pack per years. Now let's get into the over-the-counter option. This includes the Nicorette gum. Uh, it's basically nicotine gum. And you can have a maximum of 24 pieces a day. So the conversion would be if you smoke less than 25 cigarettes a day, you would get the 2 milligram gum. More than 25 would be the 4 milligram gum. And you don't want to eat or drink anything except for water 15 minutes before and during chewing the nicotine gum. And it is pregnancy category D. Next is Nicoderm CQ Habitrol. This is the nicotine patch. Here you see a couple of examples of Thanks. that. Commit Nicorette. These are nicotine lozenges. You can take a maximum of 20 lozenges per day. So you do want to counsel patients that they can take a maximum of 20. And a easy way to remember this is the lozenges have zero sides to them. So you can remember 20. And same with the gum. The gum has four sides to it. So you can remember that you can take a maximum of 24 pieces a day. Next, let's get into the prescription. Off we have the Nicotrol inhaler, which is basically a nicotine inhaler. The Nicotrol NS, which is the nicotine nasal spray. Zyban, which is sustained release bupropion. Now bupropion is an antidepressant, but it also has shown to decrease smoking. So it is used as a smoking cessation option. You want to start one to two weeks before the patient plans on quitting and watch and monitor. Next well. is Chantix, also known as Varincycline. It is taken after eating with a full glass of water. It is a partial nicotine agonist. Can be used in patients with CV diseases. You want to start one week before the quit date and it's a total therapy for 12 weeks. Adverse effects include nausea, sleep disturbances, headache, depression, and seizures. You want to be cautious in patients with renal diseases, with any psychiatric disorders, or anyone operating machineries. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos and leave a comment on what you would like our next videos to be. Thank you very much. See you next time.